The Dairy Goat Cooperative uh, is a cooperative of 50 farmer shareholders. It was formed in 1984 um, after the collapse of the dairy goat industry within New Zealand. The company originally started off just drying goat whole milk powder and in terms of sort of getting some initial traction or success it actually sold consumer packs of goat whole milk powder. But you know it was realised that a lot of the uh, people that were using the goat milk product or the goat homo powder, you know, were people who had children who were having difficulties for whatever reason with cow milk products. Uh, so that was really where, you know, it started or where the germ of the idea came from uh, and there's a lot of expertise within New Zealand in terms of infant formula manufacture. Infant formula because it's designed to provide a sole source of nutrition for a very vulnerable population group. It is the most regulated food that there is, it doesn't matter what country you're in, it's, it is very highly regulated. Goat milk is not well known in a lot of um, either the nutritional experts or also the regulatory authorities as a formula. Um, goat milk itself is well known but not as a use for its formula and so there's a lot of question marks as to whether the goat milk provides the necessary ingredients for the infants and young children. So one of the biggest challenges was to um, gather the robust experimental evidence to show that it actually does have the nutrients which are necessary for the uh, young infant. The European directive that covers infant formula and follow-on formula manufacture currently does it not permit goat milk to be used as a source of protein. It's very written in a very prescriptive way so it only says you can use this, this and that. And because that they are held in very high esteem in terms of food safety. Many different countries sort of have reservations about the use of goat milk simply because the Europeans don't accept it. So it's a hurdle in terms of getting market access to Europe, but also uh, it sort of jaundices you know, people's views in other countries as well in terms of the acceptability of goat milk uh, for these products. So we felt it was really, really important to try to change the European uh, directive but in order to do that, they require very, very high standards of data. They really take the attitude that it's more or less a novel food and you need to go down that track of uh, showing that the product does provide adequate nutrition and is safe. And to do that, you need to do a very high standard clinical trial. Clinical trials are very difficult to do anyway, and when you start looking at doing clinical trials uh, you know, with infants, it's a whole other level of, of, of difficulty and complexity. We put all of the information together as we submitted it in 2010 uh, and we're very pleased to, uh, for them to have published uh, post that submission a positive opinion. Uh, basically the scientific committee has concluded that GoHook is safe uh, as a source of protein from formula and following formula. Mm.